And I wanted to take some time for myself and ask the big questions. If that truly happened, how did that happen? And is there anybody else that is, is anybody, is that, has that happened to anybody else? So I had to start studying epigenetics and neuroplasticity and psychoneuroimmunology and electromagnetism, and quantum physics, and just was this kind of exploration for me. And, and I started getting closer to the understanding. And then when I started interviewing people that had spontaneous remissions from diseases that were treating conventionally or unconventionally, staying the same, and all of a sudden got better. Once I studied and found the commonalities amongst these people, and it was really about the mind. It was really about breaking the habit of being them, themselves, their old self, and reinventing a new self. The other thing was that they, in their inward process, of really deciding who they no longer wanted to be. Like if I really could live my life again and live again, how would I live differently? Do I really want to be an attorney? I hate my job. I don't want to be an attorney, I want to be an artist, right? So you see these people make the transition by choice to stop being one person and start being another person. And in their inward process of thinking about how they do want to think, how they do want to act, how they do want to feel in their new life, they had long moments where they lost track of space and time.